everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft video where today I'm bringing you a brand new house build which is where I choose either a Minecraft character or YouTuber and make a statue of them. However, these aren't just ordinary statues. I actually build within the statues and create a themed house which reflects the personality of the character that I have built. So without further ado, I choose which statue to make from the comments in the previous video. So here are this week's featured comments in today's house are the one the only Yogscast. So today is a very, very special video and special version of the statue build series where we have actually got a duo, which means a double appearance, which means two houses in one video, which it actually turned out pretty cool. So on the right, we obviously have Lewis or Zephos, and then on the left, we have Honeydew or Simon. And I think these came out pretty cool. I especially like the one of Honeydew because there's so much 3D work that could go into it. And I think this is possibly one of my favorite builds of the entire series. Yes, that's right. The outside of Honeydew is my favorite one so far. So let's just take a quick fly around of the two. Let's do Honeydew first. He's got the big, big old bushy 3D beard going on there of all the oranges and reds and then we've got the shoulder pads which I decided to make a nice 3D effect on then we've got the kind of like I'm not really sure what it is it looks like canisters for like guns or magazines for guns but I know it's not that but still like kind of like a tool belt and then we have the back of Zephos or Lewis where we have the diamond sword the mini diamond sword and we have his very complex skin his was very very detailed actually not too much so I could do 3D but I tried to do my best and there is the front of Lewis there so there there we go. That is the Yogg's cast. That is the outside, but this is the statue build series. So we know that there's going to be an inside as well. So let's delve inside both of the houses from today's episode. So as soon as we go into here, we are greeted by a fair few diggy diggy holes. So as you know, Simon's like trademark thing is the diggy diggy hole, which turned eventually into a song. We've got, um, what do we got? We've got diggy hole um, four. We've got diggy hole one. <laughs> two three and then there's four around here they're all different sizes and yeah he's just been kind of mining his way through his own house which is pretty inappropriate simon gotta admit and then we've got two very cool carts on the left we've got bessie and on the right we've got trent these are completely made up by me have no relevance to the oscars whatsoever but he's a dwarf he likes mining and these are two of their star minecarts. So there we go, Bessie and Trent, the star minecarts of Honeydew's mining facility, which continues up here. So as you can see, we've got a little bed here with a little table lamp on. And oh my God, I just fell down. Here we go, Honeydew sleeps here, bugger off. So that is another one of his catchphrases. And as you can see, we've got a cart spinning around the top here, which is pretty much doing nothing. So the inside of Honeydew is pretty difficult. There wasn't too much I could cling on to to make a theme of a house, but I went with the dwarf thing and then made a little bit of a just a kind of like a little themed house around the dwarf thing where we have minecarts just running around we have a little rickety bridge along here we have ladders and we have his little sleeping post as well as this little table lamp here so let's walk across this little bridge here and see what we can find and on the left here of course we have our jaffa break and all you need to do is click this button and you'll receive a beautiful jaffa that you can eat so there we go we just keep getting jaffas out of this fridge here and there we go a nice jaffa break time so now we are going to move on to the bridge which connects both of the houses together. So this one is Simon on the right, and then we can move over to Lewis through here, or we can move through to the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just go through this way first and then show you the bottom part afterwards. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh my God, that sun was bright. So let's go through here and we will enter this. And this is kind of like a locked room. So we're just gonna kind of go in here and he says, welcome. So um, this is looking a little bit creepy. Not gonna lie, this is actually Israfel's domain you have entered. So you've wondered where Israfel has gone. Well, he's here and we're locked in. We're actually locked in. So we're just gonna have to go through here. There is a minecart placed down here and we are just gonna have to press the button and see what happens. So let's go and see what happens on this beautiful roller coaster ride. There's creep heads absolutely everywhere. They whiz past your face as you move on this scary roller coaster ride. Drop down into another set of creeper faces. Drop down again and you get teleported to here, which is all. My god, it's Israfel himself inside the head of one of the Yogscasts. So, you've all wondered where he's gone, 
But he's still around. He's still ready to go. And we'll see what happens with him in the future. So Israfel is inside one of the Yogg's cast's head. And that is pretty much the build. And here we go. Leave now. He's not He's not very happy with us being here. So let's leave right now. And this will pop us right back out to the outside of the Honeydew house. So as I said earlier, we do have a Lewis part of the house as well at the bottom. Which is just an alternate way to get to the Israfel part. And an actual teleport you to the bridge over here. So let's go into the wooden doors. And as you can see, this is a little joke to do with the Ozcast. If you think we need more torches, then step here. So that when you step on that, it'll actually take you all the way to the bridge up there, which is really, really cool. Another way to get to the Israfel kind of roller coaster thing. But we've got torches absolutely everywhere. They look beautiful and this is kind of an inside joke of the Yogscast videos. So I think that's pretty much it for this build this week and I hope you enjoyed the double feature. So next week will unfortunately be the last build showcase of the house build series but I'll be sure to make it an epic one for you. So if you did enjoy this one then please do leave a like just below the video and also subscribe if you haven't been new to the channel for daily Minecraft videos to join Team TDM today. So yeah please go ahead and do that and as always comment down below with who you want to be in the build for next week and thanks again for watching everyone and i will see you all next time good